All right, Shalom. This is the brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasher Yash Allah, and the sincere salutation to Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word, and all truth and sincerity. The name of the one they eagerly call God is Yahweh. The name of the one they eagerly call Jesus is Yahweh Shai. The name of the one that evenly call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, all right, or Yasha Allah in the Paleo Hebrew, all right. Um, Akim means brothers, Akwath is sisters, Shalawan means peace. And again, Yasha Allah is Israel in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. All right, and I want to go into, um, I just want to speak on this real quick through the spirit. You know, uh, there's a lot of things going on right now. A lot of things that are happening, you know, daily, you know, we're seeing it and it's uh, playing out right before our eyes. And uh, as I meditate on this and I've been thinking to myself about it through the spirit, you know, how much of a blessing it is to see what's going on with understanding. You know, it's it's something that is uh, it's a gift you can't put a price on, you know, and it makes me think about all the things that uh, we go through on a personal level. And when we measure that up to what we actually understand, when we look at the news, when we look at how relationships are, when we look at the reason the food is the way it is, when we look at everything around us, we look at it and we view it from a place of understanding. At the same time, when we look at what the Lord has said he's prepared to do and he will do on the earth, you know, concerning judgment, we understand why. You know, where most people look at the news and other things as tragedies and whatever the case may be. We are able to look at it from a lens of understanding, you know, and as I think about that through the spirit, it makes me extremely grateful, you know, for uh, that that gift, because that's exactly what it is. All right. So I want to start off with Matthew chapter 13. All right. We're going to jump down to verse 16 and it reads, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. All right, and the Lord has opened up the understanding of the elect to understand these things. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. And with that comes a, a different perspective. These are things that, there's conversations that brothers have amongst themselves that the world would never understand. You know, there's things that you think as a, as a, a believer in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, as someone that the Lord has opened up understanding to, there's viewpoints that you have, there's a perspective that you have that the world can't identify with. You know, Kyrie and Kanye are examples on a, on a lower level of the world being covered in darkness. You know, and Yahweh Shai said that in John the third chapter, that this is the condemnation. You know, that even when you bring out small portions of the truth, you know, this world is so covered in darkness that it is offensive. Truth is offensive in this world. All right, real quick. This is John 3 and 19, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And this is why we exist in a world where truth is offensive. You know, when you deal with um, the so-called cancel culture, it's really just a means of punishing people for having opposing views. And that's why, you know, you got to realize that integrity is not rewarded on this side. You know, there's no reward for integrity on this side. And because of that, people who speak truth are often, you know, outcasted. All right. Whether it's through jobs, whether it's through friends you know there's a certain level of integrity that's not respected on this side of life and there is no tangible reward on this side in this society for actual truth and integrity and you see that play out every day in the media and how people um outcast those who speak truth and they ignore the fact that it's true to demonize the person you know and we see that and that's why the persecution you know, is going to come because again, we're in a society where truth is not is not rewarded, it's not respected, it's not uplifted. And that's because this world lies in gross darkness. You think about the majority of the people on earth, well, I'll use America for example, the West in general, 
when you think about the people who are in the West, the majority of the content that they consume is folly, is vain, is vanity, is um, makeup tutorials or um, red pill, alpha male. It's all type of it's all type of content that has nothing to do with what's actually going on in the real world, in a real way. And see, that's why we're in a time period through the spirit where the Lord is beginning to open up the understanding of the elect to see this for what it is. That's a that's a powerful gift. Like, think about that. Like a lot of people take that for granted, you know, especially those who understand this in its completeness. That you understand, you can look at the news and you understand. You read the scriptures and the Lord says it's going to be one dead body. It's going to be bodies from one end of the earth unto the other. And you see that and you hear that and you understand why. You tell that to an average person in this society, they'll look at you like you crazy. They'll say, why would God do that? But you understand. And it reminds me of what the Lord told Edris. He said, hey, understand for, for thyself and such as be like unto thee. For unto you is paradise opened. See, people don't understand judgment. There's a, a misunderstanding of judgment on this side of life because of Esau. So people think that an apology is actual judgment, and it's not. You can apologize, but in order for judgment to play out, there has to be a restoration. And what we're witnessing is the Lord beginning to respond to all of the wicked deeds that's been done. Whether people respect it or not, it matters not. For you to understand that, for you to be at a point in your life where you can look at these things and you understand it and you're in agreement with it. That is that is something that you don't take lightly. You know, that's a gift from the from the Heavenly Father. And we're not supposed to take that lightly. We're supposed to be. Matter of fact, when you go into. Um, when you go into Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, right? And I'm going to just make this point. Isaiah 33 and 6 And it reads And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times And strength of salvation The fear of the Lord is his treasure And you notice how I don't mention You know anything carnal You know it mentions The knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Shema Shai That that, the fear of the Lord Those things are the treasures And even now when you look at the world around us The ability to look at the world around us And understand it is priceless I'm talking about the bigger picture You have people who understand smaller portions Like the uh, so-called conspiracy theorists Like uh, Alex Jones or somebody like that They may understand a portion of what's going on But they don't understand the bigger picture And how it plays out in the spirit You do Alright, and that's a beautiful thing through the spirit That's a blessing, that's a gift You know, when, you, uh, when we read what the Lord said He's going to do to the world you look at the things that the Lord has said and, and you understand it. You get it. It don't uh, it don't take a whole lot to convince because, again, through the spirit, the faith is a gift. So where people look at isolated incidences and they look at it like it's random, you're able to look at it with understanding and you understand the Lord like that's a gift. You know, me and the brother were talking um, earlier today and. Um, you know, you have a conversation with somebody, you're trying to explain something to them, and then periodically you're asked if they understand or if they get it. You know, the fact that you get it says a lot because the scriptures are accessible to the entire planet. And everybody don't get it. You got people who get certain verses, but they don't get the whole movie. They don't get the whole understanding of the Heavenly Father, the whole will. All right. Matter of fact, that reminds me of this precept. So this is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. All right. And it reads, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And only the Lord can give you that. The ability to understand why the Lord is going to kill the majority of the people on the planet. Why this judgment is going to be so harsh and severe. When you understand that, that's a gift. With patience, we wait for it. You know, in the world, we, we have tribulation, all right? But we have peace of mind at the same time, and that's what balances us out. That our walk, you know, comes with certain obstacles, but at the same time, 
our mind is at peace because we understand what's actually playing out. We understand what the Lord is actually doing on the earth. And we understand what the Lord is about to do. Well, most people will look at certain things that the Lord says and be like, why would he do that? We understand. And that's a gift. That's not ours. You know, that's that's a gift that the Lord has allowed us to receive. And, and Lord will we endure until the end. Because at the end of the day, that is going to be the stability of our times. All right. Not anything else. All right. And the more we understand that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, the more grateful we become because we understand that even to know the milk, even to know the, the very basics of the scriptures, all right, is a gift because you understand the Lord. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter nine. I'm going to jump down to verse 23 and it reads. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, we know, we know and we understand the Lord as it stands this day. All right, Lord willing unto the end. But that's a gift. You know, your ability to look at the news and understand every article, every segment that they they put out concerning tragedies, concerning wars, Ukraine, world economic form, the food, inflation, all of these things. You understand it, even if you don't understand the very details of how it works, you understand the bigger picture, which is more than most people understand. And that's the that's what we are able to glory in through the spirit is that we know and we understand the Lord. That he delights in judgment and we're about to witness that. We understand why the world is in the condition that it's in today. We know and we understand that that's a gift. And the more you sit back and you really meditate on that through the spirit, the more grateful you become in your situation, whatever you're going through. You start to look at it as small in comparison to what you've been given. Now, every day is different. You know, there are, there are some days that are, are lower than others. I say it that way. Yet through the spirit overall, we're in the best place. This is the best case scenario for your life. Whatever you thought your, your best case scenario would have been, this is better than that. Whatever your dream was before you got into the truth, this is better than that. It, it may not always feel like that in the flesh because you go through certain things. And the scriptures say in the um, time of affliction, there's no remembrance of prosperity. And at the same time, it says uh, chastisement is not joyous, but grievous. So there are certain times where you catch hell and it hurt. But at the same time, overall, look at what you've been given compared to what you wanted. And what you're going through. And ask yourself if you've received a better deal. Than what you had before you got into this truth. Knowledge and wisdom. Truth. Look at how much damage a little bit of the truth has done to this world. When you think about how hard the media went against um, Kanye and Kyrie. And they're just tools that the Lord is using. But thinking about that example should show you how powerful the gift you've received is. And this is why... To, to have the ability to speak truth through the spirit is a gift. That's a gift. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aqua who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.